Hey guys, welcome back to Tractors, Trails, and Living Free. And today I have a special video, a little bit different, but I know a lot of our viewers are the homesteader type, you know, country folk, but not farmers. And uh, I have some uh, some mushrooms on our property that I'd like to get some help identifying here. I want to kind of go through them and uh, maybe see if you guys can help me out. So this is going to be a total viewer, uh, viewer help uh, video here. So I'll catch you back in a second. All right, guys. So here we are over here where uh, I see these mushrooms growing up pretty much on a yearly basis. Every year they just kind of come up in a couple of flushes all around this area of the property. And uh, I kind of think I might know what they are, um, but you know, something about mushrooms is you really want to have an expert kind of look at them and kind of tell you what's going on. Um, so I'm going to kind of go through um, a couple things about them. I'll just tell you all I can identify based on some of the characteristics I've found online about them. And, uh, just provide all the facts and then then uh, please give feedback if you if you are into mushroom foraging and can provide some advice on this. So we're going to go ahead and pick one of these. Just go ahead and let you look at it here. So they're kind of yellowish orange in color. Fairly uniform in color. They're not they're not darker on the center like I've read about some being. Um, these been up for um, a few weeks now so they're, they're kind of starting to dry out a little bit but as far as the characteristics I've seen um, one of the big ones they talk about is having these uh, false gills so basically what they are they're ridges here and uh, unlike gills where they're these really thin um, really thin kind of like membranes they're just go all around there they're, they're they look like they're that but they're they're really just nubs so they're false gills um, they appear I don't know if we can get this on camera or not, it's pretty small, but they appear to also fork out as they go to the outside. Um, so that's another characteristic. Um, these ridges also appear to, these false gills also appear to go slightly down the stem as well. Um, now if you break one open, the flesh on these is, is generally white. Um, like I said, these have been up for a couple couple weeks now, so they're they kind of take on some discoloration, but um, yeah, they're white like that. Um, they were not growing on trees, as you can see. They're kind of just growing in the the shaded uh, woods floor here. There's a lot of moss on the floor around here, so they're not growing off of a tree directly. They're kind of just coming up in the floor. So what I believe these could be is a mushroom called a chanterelle, and I've heard these are, are pretty good mushrooms as far as eating. But I really don't want to take a chance on this. Um, I'd much rather have an expert kind of tell me what I'm what I'm looking at here instead of uh, instead of taking a bite and uh, <laughs> waiting and seeing how it'll go. Um, trying to think of this, any other characteristics about it. Um, I think that pretty much covers it as far as all the characteristics I've read about these online. They seem to fit the habitat. They have the false gills, they fork away, the flesh is white on the inside when they're fresh and come up, they're uniform in color, they don't appear to be darker on the inside. Um, so yeah, let me know. I've uh, you know, I've been kind of into some mushroom foraging for a couple years now, and I was hoping on our property to maybe find some morels, but I've walked this property every spring around the right time and I haven't found a single one. So maybe we don't have those, but maybe we have chanterelles. So um, if you know anything about these, whether they are or whether they're not, if, you, if you're sure about what you're seeing, uh, let me know. Or let me know what else, what other characteristics I might have to look out for in these. Because uh, if these are um, chanterelles, I really would like to uh, let you go ahead and uh, use them as uh, edibles. Now, um, another one other characteristic I've read about these is that they're supposed to smell like apricots. And I really don't know what apricots smell like but uh, apparently it's it's fruity smell I mean when I smell I'm, I'm just not sure I, I don't think they seem particularly fruity um, kind of just smell like a mushroom almost um, so that might be another key characteristic so um, once again guys let me know and then, like you can see we just kind of have a just a good flush of them going here they come up in the woods they come up towards our house as well. So we, we if these are edible, you know, there's a good amount of these we could be picking every year instead of uh, just letting them grow and dry up and then uh, blowing them down. I 
All right, guys. Well, once again, let me know in the comments section um, what I'm looking at. I really would appreciate your help on this. Um, I will try to title it so hopefully you know a lot of mushroom foragers and homesteaders and such can see this and uh, give me the advice I've kind of been waiting for. I've avoided these for years just because I just wasn't sure. I'm still not sure. So um, we'll see how it goes and hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a good result. Hopefully you see it and say, yep, those are definitely chanterelles and maybe we'll give a try at cooking some of them and uh, having a little bit of a woodland feast. So guys, thank you for watching. As always, uh, like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't already. Click on the notification bell so that you see all the new content we put out when we do. And um, once again, thank you. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Tractors, Trails, and Living Free.